Eurydice is a woman with a death wish and who's had difficulty in her life with relationships and who finds this wonderful man that is totally different from her previous relationships, but too late. Eurydice dies and her lover decides he wants to go through this death and find her back. And I think this is the big aspect of the myth, that the journey to find Eurydice is also a journey inside Orphée to find himself. This makes it a very psychological opera. So it's much more Freudian, much more about the inner life of the characters. Previous operas that are written on the myth are mostly Baroque operas. Those operas are not psychological, they really are more emotional. The composer Manfred Troyan first describes the psychological relationship between these two characters as it's set up and then he freely adapted the journey into the underworld to the extent that we can understand that through death, finally, Eurydice has found her happiness. It's very dark, but it's also very moving, and I think that that makes this opera very, very special compared to the other myths that have been put to music this one has a very singular kind of personality. I think mean, music helps to tell that story very well. <laughs> 